Shit! Hey, what's up guys? See you boys, Pilot2K7, and I'm back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Real Life Mod video. Today, as you can see, we're here at our city location for our company, Ace Towing, and we actually just got a call from the golf club. So apparently, two people drove two different golf carts into like the lake at the golf course. I don't know how they did that. I'm not sure if they were drunk or if they were like racing each other. I guess we'll find out once we get on scene. But today we're going to use one of our records and we're going to go and try to pull out both of the golf carts golf carts for the golf course so this should be a fun episode guys also since it's in the water we're gonna actually charge them extra money and i'm gonna actually bring my scuba diving set as well so we're gonna actually use our scuba diving set get into the water we're gonna have to attach our lines and hook it up and then pull them out of the water so it should be crazy i'm not sure how deep the water is there but they said it's fully submerged so i know I am gonna have to use a scuba diving set so that we could get under the water, hook it up, and bring it back out. So, this should be a lot of fun, guys. If you do enjoy the episode, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, and subscribe if you are new. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out of the office. I already have all the information that I need. Got the truck warming up. I already loaded up all the gear that I need as well. So, let's go ahead and hop inside. And let's put the bed back up. Now you guys have absolutely been enjoying all of the episodes we have done this week, guys. And I'm so happy you guys have been enjoying it. Um, you guys have been hitting the like button. You guys have been watching it, sharing it. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys are enjoying all of the videos that we have been posting this week. And if you missed the videos, make sure you guys check them out. I'll link them in the video description. And also put them in the top right as cards so as you can see that big tow truck right there to the right of me we used that uh yesterday to respond to a semi truck and trailer that hit a low clearance bridge so if you guys missed that episode definitely check it out i'll link it right here all right let's go ahead and head out We have been busy this week, guys. Yeah, ever since we got the second towing location, like if you guys are new, we have two different towing locations now, same company. So we now operate out of the city as well as out of the county. And all I can say is we have just been so busy lately, but it's, it's good. It's like a blessing, man. It's, it's good to be busy. It's good to be busy. So anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and head out. Um, I'm going to be doing some more episodes soon. Uh, I have been reading your comments and your suggestions. Some of you guys was asking me to do, like, towing some illegally parked vehicles. So I think we may use one of the Ford's uh, F550 or maybe the F350, and we'll do that one day. And if you guys have any other suggestions or ideas or any other cool things you guys would like to see with this series, definitely let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section. Alright, let me go ahead and put on the map so we can see exactly where we're going. So we have to get right there. Only a mile to go. That shouldn't take us too long. Now, this truck, we're actually going to get it upgraded soon. So just to show you guys, we have these like old rotator style light bars on it. Or beacons, I guess you could say. We're going to get that Oh, I wasn't paying attention. We're going to get that updated here soon, and we're going to get a LED light bar on it as well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the updated truck. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, just better lighting and better uh, equipment on it so it's more visible. All right, got about a little more than a half a mile to go. Shouldn't take us too long, though, guys. We'll be there in probably about a minute or so. 
So I think the coolest thing about this episode today is probably going to be us using uh, the scuba gear to go underwater. Like I was saying, I'm not sure how deep the water is, but when they called, they did say that the, um, the golf carts are completely submerged underwater. So I'm like, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Let me bring the extra gear just in case we need it. Alright, so here's the golf course. Let's make our way towards the entrance. And we are here. Alright guys, we are here. Let's stop and uh, talk to the security guard. Hey, how you doing, sir? Uh, they called me about some golf carts in the water. It's around back. Okay. Is it? Is there like a road back there, or we are? Is it okay if we drive on the grass with the truck? It's fine. Okay. All right. So let's make our way back there. I guess there's a small walkway. Let me turn my uh, lights on here. Yeah, we're going to kind of mess up the grass a bit here. This is where the walkway ends, it looks like. Now, there's a couple of different bodies of water back here. I got to see which one it fell into. Okay, I don't really think I could avoid it, guys. I'm going to have to drive on the grass here. Alright, uh, let's see. The guard said there should be another guard out here somewhere, so... Let's check all of the water. Okay, it's not this first one over here. Oh, it must be this one right here, actually. Yep, this got to be it here. Alright, looks like these four people are kind of pissed off and the security guard is here talking to them about something. Alright, so let me get out and talk and see what exactly is going on. Hey, how you guys doing? Well, they're not, they don't look like they're doing too good. Hello, sir, I'm here with Ace Towing. I'm here to uh, recover two golf carts. They're in the water behind me. Okay. Is everybody okay? Was anybody injured? You guys okay? All right, well, at least you guys are okay. Mistakes happen. Mistakes happen, you know. Um, all right, so I'll go uh, I'll go try to get them out. Dang, I was just thinking. I wonder if the batteries on those things are going to be an issue. I'm not trying to get electrocuted, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. All right, so uh, what exactly happened? How did it end up in the water? Oh, you guys thought... Oh, this isn't a bridge? What the... Oh, you guys, okay. Alright, so they were driving behind each other. They thought this was like a little bridge. And they drove right in. And, oh, yeah, I can see them right there. Okay, so that was probably an honest mistake. I mean, they should they should mark this because, I mean, somebody could easily fall down here if they're walking, running, driving, obviously. So, I don't know. I kind of blame the golf course in a way because... This is not safe at all. This this should be closed off. But anyway, that's not our job. Our job is to recover uh, those golf carts down there. So the water looks pretty deep. Uh, I would estimate maybe about six feet, six or seven feet. So let's go ahead and move the truck back a little bit and then we'll uh, switch our outfit and put on our scuba gear. So we're going to have to probably park up about right here. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and put our scuba stuff on. Alright guys, so we are ready to go ahead and get in the water. I'm going to go ahead and pick my pack up. And I'm going to put that on my back. Now the way uh, GTA 5 works when you're trying to scuba dive, it messes up your clothes until you get into the water. So I know it looks like I'm not wearing everything, but once I step into the water, I could put it on properly. So like say I put it on, the character automatically takes it right back off. But this is what it looks like if I keep on like pressing it <laughs> so you guys can see. But uh, let's hop in the water. And then now let's put it in. And now you see it doesn't come off come off anymore. Alright. So let's go ahead and uh get to these cars. Oh there we go. Alright guys. <laughs> I literally just had to press every button until I figured it out. Wow. It's so like clear down here. This is so cool. So obviously we have to tow, we gotta, so we gotta tow, we gotta charge extra for this service, so let's grab the line. Okay, so we got the line. Okay, so what we're gonna do is attach our tow, tow line, and we're gonna attach it right to the rear of this first golf cart. This is so cool. We should do scuba diving more often, like just go scuba diving for fun. Have any of you guys ever been scuba diving in real life before? I've been snorkeling, which is like still fun. Alright, so we have the first one uh, hooked up. Let's go ahead and try to bring it out now. I forgot. I could actually do it while I'm down here. Alright, so as you can see, we have it hooked up. Let's just confirm. All right, so we have it connected to the uh, front of the golf cart, as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and try to pull it out. Let's see if we can do it from underwater. We have an underwater remote. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, it's working, guys. It's working. It's working. This is so cool. All right, let's go up so we can see. All right. Now, I'm going to have to probably pull the truck forward a little bit so that we could get it the rest of the way up. So I'm going to have to jump up. I probably should have brought somebody on this job with me to help me out so I don't have to keep getting in and getting out. But... It's all good. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna pull the truck forward a bit. Alright, let's see if we can just pull it the rest of the way up. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. You know what? Actually, let's stop it for a second. Let me put down the bed. I'm gonna release it a bit. And see if we can pull it back in now. There we go. I love it when the winch works properly. Okay, so we got one on. Um, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to probably just move this to the side for now. And then I'll hook both of them up once we have them both on land. Uh, smooth, you guys thought it was gonna fall, right? Alright, so I'm just gonna sit it down right here for a moment and then we're gonna go grab the next one.
Alright, one down. Let's grab the next one now. The next one's a little bit further out. I don't know if we can reach the next one, guys. Okay, we got it. So let's get the second one connected. We're going to do the same thing, connect it to the front, and we'll pull it right back out. <laughs> this is so cool, though. This is really cool. All right, so it looks like we have it connected. Let's uh, make our way back up to the truck, and let's pull it up. Okay, you guys can see it. Just gotta start winching it in. Oh shit. I think a tire just popped. Pull the truck forward. Hold on, I gotta adjust this a bit. Uh oh. Okay, I think we got it now. Oh, it caught on fire, it caught on fire. How did it get on? Oh, goodness. Alright. Remember in the beginning, I was like, I'm kinda worried about the batteries. Oh shoot, the second one caught on fire, guys. Um, let me grab a fire extinguisher out of the truck. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot, look at the smoke right now, guys. Oh, how's it in the water and burning? How's it burning underwater? GTA, what is going on? Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure these are not gas-powered golf carts. So that was a little strange for it to catch on fire like that. At least it didn't blow up. Alright, let's see if we can get it the rest of the way up there. Dang, this part is kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh. Trying to get it onto the bed. This one is tricky. First one was so easy. Okay, we kind of got it. It's going to fall off, though. Then the rear tire popped. That caught on fire. This is just a crazy day. Now, we're not going to be towing these back to the shop. They just want us to put it in their parking lot, so we'll just put them up here. Alright, guys, so we got the first one strapped down. Uh, we only put one tie down on it because we're literally only driving over there. Let me go ahead and grab the second one now.
Alright. Let's get the second one strapped and go ahead and drop these off in the parking lot. Alright, like I said, one should hold it down. We're really not going too far. I always forget the view does that. Whenever you put a load on the back, the view kind of does this sometimes. So, we'll just drive like this. So we're going to be dropping these off right over here, if I could just see what I'm doing. Alright guys, so I just released the straps, I'm going to go ahead and unload these things here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push them back here, and uh, they should be good back here. Alright, there we go. And, yep, and we'll push the other one back there as well. So this is a new mod that I just added in. Not new, but just first time I'm using it. So I think this will definitely help us out, especially with towing vehicles. We could try to push them. And that's really good for role-playing vehicles that are disabled, such as these golf carts. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications. We're having new videos dropping every single day, guys. So make sure you guys have those post notifications turned on by hitting the bell. And I'm going to come at you guys with brand new videos and creative ideas. Like stuff like this. Stuff that you guys aren't seeing anybody else do or stuff that's not as common. So hopefully you guys do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to use any of the mods that I use today, they will be linked down below in the video description. So definitely check it out. Also, if you have a Facebook if you could look me up on Facebook or click the link in the description, check me out on Facebook at AcePilot2K7, same name. Go ahead and give my Facebook page a like and follow. It would, I would appreciate it so much. And also, if you could follow me on Instagram too, AcePilot2K7. Thank you guys so much. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!